Good morning, McLaren. Today is Friday, August 28th, 2020. The weather today should finally be wonderful. Partly cloudy in the morning, followed by scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon. High of a pleasant, balmy 83 degrees. Winds blowing northerly at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. The sun rose this morning at 624 and will set at 734. Today, again, we are learning at home. And this will be the first time for our uh, kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders to all be together on Zoom. Um, seems like it is going pretty well so far, but I know we will continue to have hiccups on this so I just want to remind you why we are doing this we are doing this because any school right now during the pandemic any school could close down immediately for a few days or a few weeks at a time so um, what all schools need to do in order to be prepared and we want you to know what to do um, in case that happens. So I hope today everyone has a great day. If you are watching this, you are probably accessing Google Classroom just fine because the link will be there for you. Um, and um, I just hope it goes so well. And, and just know that if there are bumps in the road or anything is confusing, we will get it figured out. So just be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your family. Be patient with your teachers. It will all work out okay, and hopefully today is just a great day of beautiful weather. You do some schoolwork, and you can have a lot of time outside to play, lie on the grass, read a book, enjoy yourself. Okay, today, of course, is August 28th, and it was on this date that Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech and I want to tell you the story about that because uh, this is a very famous speech but one of the pieces one of the the facets of the speech that we don't often talk about is the fact that it almost didn't happen so it's the summer of 1963 and thousands and thousands of buses and trains and planes and cars rolled into Washington DC bringing hundreds of thousands of people to the seat of government in the United States of America, the seat of American political power, and they were coming to say no more. No more to Jim Crow in the South, no more to racism, no more to denying voting rights, no more to segregated schools, no more to segregated housing, no more to denying American citizens a fair chance at the American dream. So this event was called the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Nowadays we just call it the March on Washington and it was a crowd of again hundreds of thousands of people. Protestant ministers, Catholic priests, Jewish rabbis, college students, mothers, all manner of people who believed strongly in nonviolent direct action and they were treated badly people treated them like they were a mob a violent mob the our own government brought in hundreds and thousands of soldiers to put down a riot um, baseball games were canceled hospitals canceled elective surgeries that day so the city was acting as though it was being overrun but really people were coming in nonviolence to protest. It was a hot summer day. The march started at the Washington Monument and went down to the Lincoln Memorial. People took off their shoes and soaked their feet in the reflecting pool on the National Mall and there were speech after speech after speech after speech. And the last one was by a young guy. He was a Baptist minister. He was only 34 years old. And he was already quite famous for being an organizer and a preacher. And he really preached that day. He agreed to speak last. And all the other presenters wanted to speak earlier 
because they figured all the cameras would leave. So they said, oh, I want to get on, on camera, so I'll speak first. And so um, this young minister said, well, I don't mind, I'll speak last. And his speech was only scheduled to be four minutes long, but it wound up being 16 minutes. And it became one of the most famous orations of the civil rights movement and of American history and of human history. So at one point, Martin Luther King is going along giving his speech, and the famous singer Mahalia Jackson called out to him, Tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. And Dr. King had prepared notes. They didn't say anything about a dream. And so it seems as though the most famous part of the speech was extemporaneous, that Dr. King improvised it. He just made it up on the spot. It wasn't written down beforehand. I won't try to imitate one of the greatest speakers of the 20th century, but I will just share with you these words on this day, the anniversary, August 28th, of the I Have a Dream speech. Dr. King said, I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racists, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, one day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. The words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on this date, August 28th in the year 1963. If it is your birthday today, August 28th, 2020, happy birthday to you. I hope your family can give you a cheer and sing happy birthday to you right now. And I hope all of you have a day of kindness, friendliness, and peace. Folks, we are all in this together. We will see you either distance learning on Monday or back here in the building on Monday. I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.